Coach, coming off of a uh, top 10 win against Young Harris, you split the double header. First of all, what does a win like this mean to the program? So we started in the fall after like a couple of scrimmage inner squatting, realizing that our pitching staff had what it took to be successful and that we had depth in our pitching staff. And you spend all this time, you know, telling your team we're going to be successful, we're going to be good, you got to be patient. And when you fail, you even got to be more patient. So I think just the pure thought that they could beat this team, which they thought the whole day, and then on top of that, they did. And it is just huge for our kids. Like, they finally have, I think today, they finally, are, they still don't think they're good. <laughs> yeah, they keep winning, right? We keep not getting swept by really good teams. Uh, even when we lose the first one, we find a way to win the second one. I'm so freaking proud of them, and I'm just, I just think that this is going to excel us off the charts from this point forward. This is exactly what we needed today. So you feel like a win can show to your team that, that you are, in fact, legit? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've all, if you go, so we're young. Every, you know, baseball and softball teams, they always, like, the best, some of the best teams in the country start off the worst sometimes, and we were really rocky at the beginning of the season. And then we hit our winning streak, and then we kind of went back to losing a game, winning a game. So it's crazy here. You wonder what it means to these kids. They're tarping and screaming at the same time. I'm sorry, y'all. They get breaking my train of thought. <laughs> you see the, do you hear the joy, guys? Like the joy that you hear in, that, in those girls right now. It means that they realize that something special is happening. But anyway, you get into the middle of the season, your pitching hits a low spot. Like something bad happens. They have a bad game. You know, we continue to grind. Um, I think they really felt it when we won our first, second game after a loss. And I think they really felt it after Columbus. And I think today we played well for 13 to 14 innings. We very easily could have walked out of here with a sweep had we just played one more inning better today. But you got to do that stuff against top 10 teams. So, what impressed you the most about Maddie Dyson today? Came oh my really gosh! Um, I think you can see my face lighting up. A kid has thrown no more than two innings for us, and she comes in with no outs in the top of the first. I mean, the bottom. Yeah, top of the first, and she goes seven straight innings until the very end where she gasses out. Um, I don't know, but I just hope that she got her first strikeout today and her second one. So the very first pitch she threw in her career, she hit someone. So I'm just really freaking proud of her. I'm actually really proud of our entire pitching staff. Like we used almost everybody. I think we, yeah, we used everybody that was healthy. And on top of that, everybody contributed at some point and got outs for us. But man, I hope Maddie takes this down and realizes the first time she threw more than five innings, she, she beats the top 10 team in the country. That's freaking awesome. You've now won six straight second games. Yeah. Right. Uh, including now three in a row after dropping the first. What does that say about this team? Well, uh, I've had to work really hard at maturing as a coach. And I think I, I talked to Coach Graz about this but in between games about three weeks ago. I just sometimes we play really well in the first game, but it's conference, man, and anything can happen. You can be they can be a two out hit away from winning and we can be a two out away from hitting uh, hit from winning. And sometimes it's gone in our favor and it hasn't. So in between games, we've focused really hard on realizing that it is a long day. It is two games, and anybody can be anybody at this point, and that we have the pitching to be successful to help us win the second game. Um, if you lose the first game and take the second game, and so you're going to split, you always want to win the second game going into the next game. But more importantly, it shows you how much grit these kids actually have. I mean, you just got to give, like, all the freaking credit. I, I, I don't know this for sure, but I think we, everybody had to hit up, up and down the lineup in the second game, if not close. I mean, those are team wins, John. Like, this is what you want. This is what you want. You want the whole team to feel good about something because they contributed. Two more big games on Sunday <laughs> against a, a, a top five team in North yeah. Georgia. What are you hoping to see from your squad on Sunday? Um, well, John, um, statistically, we hit Kylie Smith better than most people in the country. We've been the besides the teams that have beat North Georgia, we've been we put the most runs on her uh, in the last two years that we played them. Obviously, COVID year we didn't play, but um, they're fired up, man. I mean. They're a good team, and you got to do everything right. And they're gonna they're gonna hurt us if we don't. But I think these kids realize that they just got to get one out at a time, and that everything's just gonna be okay. But I couldn't. I'm telling you what, I think they're pumped up now. I think they're excited. I can certainly tell. They look <laughs> and sound excited. Coach, thank you so much for your time, and congrats on the win today. Thank you for coming out today.